Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching. Today's video is going to be my May favorites. I have of course some makeup to share with you that I've been loving for the month of May, but there's just one product that is not makeup, so I'm just going to mention that one first. This month I've been going a lot to the pool and the beach, and as you can see, I am a bit tan, but I do protect myself a lot. I do wear a lot of sunblock. I don't mess with the sun, neither should you. But I just wanted to mention this product because I think it's so good. And it's by Neutrogena and it's the sunscreen Beach and Defend. This one is SPF 70, this is how it looks like. You can pick this up at CVS, I've seen it at CVS, I've seen it at Walgreens, but it's a little expensive there. It could run from $12 to $15. And at Walmart, I saw it for $8 or $8.99, something like that. So your best bet if you want you know, to pay less, you should just go to Walmart. This also comes in a cream form. I like this one better, which is the spray form. And what I like about this is two things. One, it smells amazing amazing it smells like a body wash yeah it smells like a body wash and also i've been tanning as you can see because i'm telling you every two hours guys i spray myself i i don't joke around with the sun especially in here that you could burn in less than an hour like this so this is what I've been using. I like the fact that, yes, I have tan, but I have not burned, not even once. Thank God. So I just wanted to mention this real quick because I know that the summer's coming. And if you guys are looking for a good sunblock, this is it. And also, it smells so good. So you guys are really going to like this. To highlight, I've really been liking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. The bubbly is the shade that I use the most. I love these two. I still have yet to use these two. Still have yet to use them. I will soon, hopefully. But these two right here are just beautiful. So these are the swatches. The top one is golden bronze, then is sunburst, then is dipping gold, and the last one is bubbly which is my favorite I love that I love mixing these two like I said I think they're so beautiful it's huge by the way and if you want to pick up a new one you could just purchase them on their own for well, this palette was I think $40 but it was definitely worth it for my face I've been liking two things one is a BB cream by Maybelline it's this one right here the 8 in 1 beauty bomb skin clearing perfecter in the back it says 8 in 1 for healthy looking skin today and clear skin tomorrow clears acne conceals imperfection minimizes the look of pores reduces appearance of redness adjusts to skin tone hydrates and smoothens enhances and clarifies zero percent oil and lightweight feel i agree 100 percent i like this bb cream it's really nice it gives me a nice color for the skin since i am tan and it just covers nicely it makes my skin look like my skin but better so for me it just hides the redness and it gives me a nice color to the skin so i really been liking this and i've been using it under my foundations but one that i've been using a lot is this one right here by also by maybelline is the fit me matte and portless foundation my shade is in sun beige 310 and I like this foundation also a lot just because it is a matte finish, but it doesn't make you look flat. It makes your skin look really nice. This is the foundation that I have on right now also. I have this first and then this on top. These two together are amazing. To cover the dark circles under my eyes, and I really the dark circles, the blue veins under my eyes, I've been using this by LA Girl, the Pro Concealer. This one is in Orange Corrector, that's what it's called. And I really like this. It's, it's what I'm wearing under right now, under my concealer. It's so good, but you have to be careful because the pigmentation is so strong. And I, at first, when I have purchased it, 
I purchased this a while ago. I've used this in the past, but I've really been using it a lot this month. This is so pigmented that if you apply under your eyes, all you need is a small amount. A small amount will go a long way. Trust me, you guys. I exaggerated <laughs> the first time that I purchased this, and when I applied it, I applied it just like, you know, you would do with your concealer and I didn't know how pigmented this thing was and I blend it I mean I blend the heck out of <laughs> out of my um under eye and still when I put concealer on top forget it I still had the the orange peeking through it was the worst so I gave up on it for a while but I decided to start using it again and how I use it now is just a small amount right here because this is the area that I have most trouble like the veins right here that's where you could really see my dark circles right under here so all I do is apply a small amount right there and I blend it and while I'm blending it the product basically goes all over um, under my eye you just need a small amount of this and you're good to go it brightens under your eyes so well I really like this product and it's only two dollars I really been liking this product right here is by elf it is the baked blush in peachy cheeks this is how it looks like I do have this on right now and let me give you guys a quick swatch that is how it looks like the pigmentation is really good it feels nice and soft and I really like the fact that with this blush I don't really need a highlighter so I really been using this blush more for the days that I'm in a rush and I just need to do something really fast I don't have all that you know all the time to do all the contouring all the highlighting all that stuff all I do is basically just a simple look and I use this on top and it just gives you a nice glow to the cheeks just like Luminoso by Milani that one you also don't really need a highlighter because the blush itself has a little bit of glow so I mean you could highlight obviously you could do that because I've done it but I'm just saying if you want to do like a nice little natural look and just want something nice and glowy to the cheeks this gives you a nice color to the cheeks and it gives you a nice little glow without even highlighting so I really like it this is elf blush like I said and peachy cheeks for my eyes I've been using a lot this Smashbox full explore palette It's a traveling size this is how it looks like it is so nice you guys I mean this is right up my alley I really like neutrals this is what I'm using on my eyes right now all I have is two shadows which are this one all over my crease and then this one right here all over my lid. Okay, I've been using it a lot this month and I'm going to take it with me to the vacation that I'm going with my family because you could just create so many looks with this. You could like, do a nice neutral eye. You could do a smoky eye. The pigmentation on this palette is amazing. Let me give you guys a quick swatch. Okay. That is right there the first uh, the first three shadows and then the rest let me see this right here look at that right there that is the dark brown shade the pigmentation is so good on this palette a small amount goes a long way I love this and last are lips I've been liking two lipsticks and two lip liners the two lip liners are one is called gingerbread and is by Palladio I hope I am saying that right because I'm not 100% sure if I'm not saying it right it will be down in the description box no matter what so in case you guys do want to purchase it but this one is in gingerbread and this one right here is by Rimmel and it's called epic so nice these two Okay, so this one, the first one is going to be uh, gingerbread, and then this one is epic. Swatching them both, they kind of look alike. They kind of do, 
but epic is a little bit more on the rosy side so this right here is epic and this one right here is gingerbread love those two then for my lips I've been using a lot this one by Colourpop is called Echo Park I mix this one a lot with epic Echo Park that is how it looks like and the other lipstick is by Wet n Wild is what I have on my lips right now it's called Bear It All and it's my favorite new that is Bear It All is what I have on my lips but I also have on top a gloss that's why it looks like that but this right here these are the combos that I've been doing for the month of May so I get gingerbread as my lip liner and bear it all by wet and wild bear it all right I, I keep on forgetting names bear it all by wet and wild those two mixed together are beautiful and then the epic where is it the epic liner from Remo Echo Park from Colourpop Alright, so that completes my May favorites. Let me know down in the comments which ones are yours. Don't forget to follow me on social media. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.